I am Professor Pinelli at Florida Tech and I would like to introduce Gonzalo Pita who is a PhD candidate here at the school. Gonzalo, can you tell us about your research? Hi. Basically my research deals with assessing the hurricane risk of Florida's multifamily building infrastructure. The research contributes to the Florida Public Hurricane Loss Model which is a catastrophe model commissioned by the Florida Office of Insurance Regulation to predict insurance building losses. Up until now, the Florida public model has proven to be very effective for determining single-family housing infrastructure risk, so much so that the Florida authorities decided to expand the model to include multifamily buildings, which is a topic I'm working on. So in a nutshell, um, the main topics of my research are defining the vulnerability of both low-rise and mid uh, high-rise multifamily buildings, and in both cases, the key aspect is the interior damage due to water penetration. What is the contribution of your work to modern risk science or risk analysis? Up until now, CAD models estimate vulnerability by concentrating specifically on exterior damage because it's the easiest to model. Moreover, the interior damage is simplified as an empirical function of the exterior damage. However, when you do cost analysis of a building, you realize that the lion's share corresponds to the interior components of the building. Therefore, this research contributes by replacing the current empirical definitions of interior damage by a scientific and engineering based approach uh, instead. If successful, it has the potential to change the way CAT models address interior damage estimation. The estimation of mid high rise buildings uh, vulnerability poses a challenge also because of their highly variable configuration. Nowadays, many CAT models determine the vulnerability of a few typical buildings and then extrapolate the result, but that's not realistic. This research contributes with a modular approach in which the apartment unit vulnerabilities are estimated and aggregated following any particular configuration. So my work helps to better define the vulnerability of interior building and it also helps to estimate the mid-rise building's vulnerability using a more rational approach. What is the contribution of your work to modern engineering and infrastructure research? Modern performance-based design considers the risk to occupants' life, life expectancy of the structure, and potential economic losses, in addition to the traditional uh, variables of strength, stiffness, and stability. In other words, it is based on the building's future performance and how it affects its different stakeholders. This concept of performance-based design relies on a true estimate of the different building component vulnerabilities and it is already well established in seismic engineering. My research uh, produces wind vulnerability of most common buildings and their components, both external and internal, and as such it will provide insight on the relationship among building components performance. These vulnerabilities are critical for the establishment of performance-based design in wind engineering in the near future as well. The new model is also a tool that is especially suitable to assess different building mitigation strategies. Therefore, it is useful to identify the main contributing factors to vulnerability and to reduce it. It shows that risk analysis could be a valuable asset in the building conception process. What impact will your research have on risk analysis of engineering and infrastructure systems? In hurricane aftermaths, damage to the building stock triggers complex interaction between all infrastructure components in the urban and regional systems. Therefore, the more accurate the prediction of wind damage is, the better the appraisal of the infrastructure system behavior during the hurricanes will be. Moreover, in hurricane aftermaths, the reliability of the regional infrastructure is severely challenged. This research helps in the characterization of the interdependence between infrastructure system components including power, communication, transportation and the housing infrastructure. It helps to better apprehend power needs, debris removal needs, evacuation and shelter challenges and also helps insurance industry to plan and prepare for quick area recovery and to get a better evaluation of risk. How is your research novel? How does your research advance knowledge in the chosen area? Up until now, the estimation of interior damage has been based on empirical assumptions and rules of thumb. My research will be the very first to explore the interior damage and its relationship with exterior damage, quantitatively and physically. 
it is very it is the very first time that somebody will look into the real physics of the problem including propagation and damage the new model has the potential to be extended to handle industrial facilities and, and other buildings too also the modular approach has the potential to help us better understand the vulnerability of mid high rise buildings this approach is also rooted in the physics of the problem and is versatile enough to deal with intricate building configurations how does your research break new ground the modular approach is adaptable to many kind of buildings in addition when combined with a realistic interior damage model based on the physics of the problem it becomes a powerful tool that throws light on the vulnerability of a relatively unexplored group of buildings in what ways are the theories methods appropriate for the application the theories and methods combine meteorology statistics and engineering in a state-of-the-art program for example the building models were adopted after an extensive survey of the Florida building stock the meteorology includes a model of impinging rain of, on buildings and the building component damage is based on the engineering principles how confident are you that the reader or viewer will have the ability to correctly apply or implement your findings the model is validated using real data from insurance claim databases and post hurricane damage surveys it also incorporates the necessary information so that the user has access to all the assumptions parameters and model rationale including detailed flowcharts 